I'd like to use this voltage meter yes. as our testing device. Okay. And to show how it works, let's take both leads mm -hmm. of the voltage meter and put it in an uh, outlet. And let's see what happens. So, <laughs> why are you backing up? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I'm not backing up to not because anything's going to happen. If you hold on to the plastic or the rubber pieces mm -hmm. and stick the leads one in each of the outlets, everything's going to be safe and a light is going to come on if you have power in that outlet. Okay, Kim, very simple. You're going to take a lead of the meter and place it in the slot. One lead in each slot and if there's power in that outlet a light on the meter should come on. There we go. Oh look at that it lights up. So that represents that there's power into that outlet. Okay now what do the difference number numbers mean? This says 120 that one says 240. Okay the 120 volts in that outlet is a standard outlet standard light fixture standard appliance. Okay. The 240 is twice as much and that is for a stove or an oven, a dryer, or an air conditioning unit. Okay. The 120 you would definitely get a shock from, but the 240 could kill you. Wow. Now again being very careful, you're going to hold the bottom and the top and not touch the side. The okay. sides are where the power comes into the switch. All the wires straight out. Now okay. turn it to its side with the leads on top. Now with your voltage meter, mm -hmm. we're going to see if we can get the light to turn on. The power should be turned off, but we're double checking. Okay. You're going to take each lead and place it on anything that's copper or anything that's metal. Okay, so I want to touch it here and here. That's correct. And no light. And here, here, no light. Well, when you touch it on the wire itself, you have to be on the copper part of it. Right. See how it's so sticking down there? here on the copper? Very good. Okay. Nothing. No. So now we know that there's no power here. 